Please be advised that this video is for the sole purpose of entertainment. Any views of purely my own are subjective and may not necessarily be true. I do, however, do extensive research for all of my videos. All photos have been found on the public domain. I am using them under the Fair Use and Fair Dealing guidelines. I urge everybody to do their own research. Well, hello, it's Murky Meg here. It's Tuesday the 10th of December, and we're all very well aware that Harry and Meghan plus Archie are taking six weeks plus maybe additional time, family time. It was all over the media a couple of weeks ago, basically saying they need time out to go wherever, be it in the US or be in the UK, to have family time. It's very important to them. Well, sod that because all has been shattered. We know that we have been bombarded with puff pieces from the media relentlessly. You know, she's got that contract with Sunshine Sacks, three to five per day. Anyway, we've also been bombarded with Instagram woke quotes or revisiting anniversaries, whether it be the Grenfield Kitchen Hub, whether it be the anniversary of when they got engaged and revealing that brand new photo that, oh God, we've never seen. And bleh. But now it seems that she isn't on a break from her royal duties. She is, in fact, taking the US by storm. And I, for one, say, do you know what? That is not fair. You want a holiday? Fine, go and have a holiday. Just take it as it is. You work while you're on holiday. You have no right to be a working royal. If you need six weeks of family time, so be it. Go and have some fun. But if you work during those six weeks, then you don't deserve your royal title. You cannot whine and whinge and say that you need family time and then have a piece released today that basically says that Meghan Markle uses break from her royal duties to team up with her old Hollywood PR guru on a plan for raising tens of millions for her and Prince Harry's charity. Which is it? Is it a holiday or are you working? Because quite frankly, it looks like you're shirking your royal duties and I for one ain't playing anymore. The article then goes on to say Meghan may be officially on her royal break, but don't believe she's taking her foot off the gas, a source with knowledge of the project told the Daily Mail TV. So she's in full on working mode, how is it possible when she's supposed to be a working royal? So much for the six weeks break. Their PR team are going into overdrive with rehashing old stories, digging up positive aspects of a previous life, no matter if it actually gives any credence to royal life. And with all this talk of a much needed break from royal duties, it now seems ridiculous because it's clear they do not want to be traditional royals. And maybe that is exactly what they want, to have their cake and eat it and sod what anybody else thinks. This, to me, makes me think that they may have been told to literally take a break, go away, leave the country alone for a while. You've made an absolute mess of things. Just go and be quiet. But of course, Megan B and Megan can't do that. She's always hustling, always doing it. In the background, getting everything must be better, bigger, and all about her. But a break means a break, does it not? Does the royal family know how cheesed off the taxpayers are? So they've been told to go on garden leave and just not listening at all. This is the case. Where's the punishment for actually disobeying orders? Gets you thinking, doesn't it? So she's too stressed to actually do public duties and needs family downtime, but not too stressed to get money from her celebrity friends and use her royal title to benefit her. I do find it quite unbelievable that she can use the royals and the royal name to fulfil her dreams and to fill her bank account. And I think that now all of these shady stories that are coming out about Andrew and his shady money schemes and everything that's gone on with regards to how he got his money, that we need some transparency with regards to how the money comes in. If it's not from the sovereign grant or from their trust funds or whatever money they have now, if it comes in from a completely different manner, 
i.e. foundations and charity, we need a stringent and unobstructed access to explain to us what exactly is going on. They take our money as a taxpayer, yet get kickbacks. And I don't think that's very fair at all. I think we need complete transparency when it comes to those funds that are used for personal expenses and salaries by the royal family. And it's not just about Meghan and Harry, it's about all the royals. But this story that's been released today about her on her six weeks break hustling for her charity then just highlights the fact that there must be something in it for her other than the glorification of her foundation doing well. Or why would she do it? I suppose somebody's got to uh, raise the funds for their Malibu home, haven't they, eh? In my honest opinion, I think Meghan is clearly using the royal family and her title to catapult her towards wealth and global stardom. She has it at the moment. Whether or not she has it with or without Harry is an entirely different matter. Do you think that if they separate that she would still have that pull without her HRH title? We've got two instances here, haven't we? We've got the late Princess Diana, who didn't retain her HRH title, but still became a global icon. And then we have Sarah Ferguson. Hmm. Two very polar opposites of the divorce side of royal family. But then we also have the side of Meghan trying to outdo the Cambridges. And I think that has to have its own validation because she's extremely competitive. And I'm sure that she's avidly watching her Instagram followers and theirs to see who beats who. It's just a game to her of popularity. But quite frankly, Meghan, you're never going to win this. William will be king and Kate will be queen consort. There is no contest. I'm sorry, you can try and raise as much money as you can. We all know what type of foundation this is going to be. And believe me, it will benefit only yourself in the long run because that's the type of person you are, I'm afraid. And the whole world will see it one day. What I'm most annoyed at is that she's using these six weeks to boost her own agenda, when she should really be doing her royal duties to support our queen. It's obvious that she has used Harry, his name, and the royal title to fulfil her dream of heading an international charity and be the one that basically is the star. And I'm so fed up with it. I really, really am. Please, I've said this so many times. Pick a side. You're either a royal or you're a celebrity. You can't have both. And this is just really ticking off the British people. We are so fed up with all of this. The daily puff pieces. The basically sticking the two fingers up to the taxpayer because... You want to go and fanny around, playing celebrity and being the big starlet. Doesn't work. Please choose a side. And quite frankly, I'm ashamed to even call you a royal duchess. Because you're not one, are you? You're just a celebrity. She still hasn't got a clue on how to behave. She wants to fit into the royal family. She's going to have to start behaving more royal and less Hollywood. And actually having... A huge PR firm represent her in the States isn't royal and it shows you where her loyalty lies. It's not with the royal family, it's with herself. What do you all think of this not so six weeks break and the fact that she's been hustling over in the States to boost her foundation? I say her foundation because let's face it, it's not his, is it? She has her mucky little fingers all over this. It's hers. Is it fair to the patronages that she represents that she's saying that she's having six weeks family time when in fact she's not at all? She's literally working her socks off for her own benefit. Is that fair to the royal family? Is it fair to Harry? Is it fair to Archie? It just, it, it doesn't make sense to me. As always, let me know what you think of this mess in the comments section below. Thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit that like button, hit subscribe and hit that notification bell. I'd like to thank everyone who has donated to my channel. It's because of your kind generosity 
which enables me to release worthy and interesting contents. So I say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Once again, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon.